An upstate fire department wants you to slow down when you're passing first responders. The Tigerville Fire Department is now deploying portable speed bumps, trying to help protect its crews and the patients, too. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith is joining us with details on this. Nikkel? Well, Tom and Amy, it's something the department has been doing for a few months now out of desperation for any way of getting people to slow down. <laughs> Rolling out a new way to help keep first responders safe. If a fireman is getting a piece of equipment off a truck and steps around the corner, I mean, it, it's done and it's over with at that point. The kind of dangers Tigerville Fire Chief Russell Ledford says crews are facing from drivers when stopped for emergencies. There's no coming back from a 60 mile an hour impact with a human being. A disregard for safety, he says, was even shown during our interview. So, got that, didn't you? <laughs> There's a prime example of what we deal with. <laughs> 40 mile an hour in front of the station. When out on calls, he says they've tried just about everything. We tried putting cones out. Leading up to their decision to get portable speed bumps. We deploy it just before our engine, just before coming into the accident scene. That slows the traffic down. They go over the speed bump. We know they're going by at a safe speed at that point. A safe speed tow truck operator Michael Knapp says is needed. I think it would be helpful because it's going to slow the people down. But like I said, you're still going to have some. You're still going to have somebody that's going to be crazy. So I mean. Right. Not pay it any attention. It's something Chief Ledford says has happened. And we've had cars hit it at 50 plus mile an hour, and it hasn't done any damage to the car. But overall, results have been worth it. If it saves one person's life, whether it's ours or a patient that we're dealing with on the side of a road at an emergency incident, it's paid for itself tenfold over. Chief Ledford says shutting down traffic altogether creates an inconvenience for drivers because traffic being backed up can increase the chance of having another accident happening. Amy. It is an interesting solution, Nikkel. Thank you. And Chief Ledford says the speed bumps cost about $400, and the decision to purchase them made financial sense for this department.